Guys, we have just got the news that the U.S. government has moved $300 million, roughly about 10,000 Bitcoins worth of Bitcoin uh, from two known wallets attributed to the U.S. government. Where do they get these Bitcoins? They seized them from Silk Road sometime back. And of course, this was part of their promise to reliquidate the approximately remaining 40,000 Bitcoin from the seizure in four more batches over the remainder of the calendar year. So they, I think they did the first one in March, and now they're doing the second one. So a cryptocurrency wallet associated with the U.S. Uh, Department of Justice moved approximately 9,825 Bitcoin worth around $299 million in a series of transactions on July 12th. It's unclear at this time whether the transactions, which appear to have uh, ultimately propagated in the last and at least 101 new wallets were sent to exchange addresses for sale or remain in custody of the Justice Department. Now, they have sold in the past, but they've generally auctioned them off. And I think that's kind of what they're doing right now. So initially, approximately 9,825 of the Bitcoin associated with Silk Road seizure moved in pair of transactions sent to three addresses at around 1 p.m. UTC. And the bulk of the coins, 8,200 BTC worth nearly 250 million as of the time of the article's publication, were sent to a single address, which subsequently split the total amount across 11 separate addresses a little over an hour later. So more or less, um, they did this in March and the price did dump a little bit. So you might have a small window to buy for a lower price. You could actually buy the dip. It probably won't be a very big dip. It'll probably be a little dip. But if we do have like a sudden dip and you can't find a reason for it, this actually might just be the reason. It could might might it might be able to dip at a thousand dollars, maybe two thousand uh, dollars, but not very much more. So you, you can't really depend on like the fifteen thousand BTC or the ten thousand BTC. That's not going to push it down this much. Remember, they have two more batches after this uh, for the rest of the year too. They're not selling all the forty thousand at once. Most likely, they're doing like selling privately. And I don't think they're going to do this on exchanges. But even if they do a thousand or two thousand dollars down, you might be able to pick up some Bitcoin at uh, twenty-eight thousand. I think the opportunity arises with altcoins. If Bitcoin falls a thousand or two, I think the altcoins will bleed for a longer time period, and you might see like a decrease of maybe ten, even twenty percent in altcoins. And that's a good time to actually pick some altcoins up when the U.S. government moves their funds from Silk Road, it generally does mean they are going to sell them either via exchange or via OTC. That puts a lot of seller pressure all at once on Bitcoin. So we might actually get a drop within the next week or two because of this. It'll probably go back up very, very quickly. So if you're wanting to buy Bitcoin, probably a shorter time period, if you want to buy altcoins, definitely, you know, you could stand to wait a week or two more to see if this actually has any effect because you could actually get a pretty good uh, sizable chunk of altcoins at a discounted price of 10 or 20%. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.